Hey guys, it's Kelly, and apparently I am the only South African YouTuber left who hasn't done this video. So, I just thought today I'd do it, because I really like doing tags. I haven't done one in a super long time, and they're fun. And I feel like I need to do this just out of the tiny sense of patriotism that I have. So, let's go. This tag was created by Carla Williams, and I'll leave a link to her original video in the description. Question one is your favourite South African food. Now, since going vegan, I can't really eat most like traditional South African food, but I'm gonna go with braai because I've recently discovered braaied pineapple and braaied mushrooms, and it's like the greatest thing ever, and obviously braaied potatoes and sandwiches are just bay. Like you you cannot beat potatoes down on the braai. Question two is any South African artists you like? I love Boa Bosch. Jeremy Loops is one of my like favourite artists of all time, not just South African. Crime Circle is amazing. I like all our like alternative groups, Graham Watkins Project, Gangs of Ballet, Short Straw, so all those kind of people, I like them. Like basically if they used to play their music on MCAR, which I'm so sad is dead, I'm a fan. <laughs> Question 3 is favourite holiday spot in South Africa. I'm such a cliche, but it's Cape Town. <laughs> it's beautiful, they have amazing shopping, they have amazing restaurants. They have amazing things to do, there's so much culture, like there's so many like, museums and art galleries and cool historical spots to visit, so yeah, I'm gonna say Cape Town. On the weekends you can go through to Stelis and do like wine tasting and stuff, and go to cute little markets, so it's definitely Cape Town for me. I also really like Joburg, just because I'm from PE, so it's not the biggest place, and I really just love that big sissy feel, like that's just so me, that whole like big sissy vibe is just what I want for my life so yeah mostly Cape Town but I also really like Joburg an emotion that describes SA best to you I don't know sometimes I'm really proud to be South African and other times I'm just like no no stop please mostly happy like there are a lot of problems in South Africa and I don't want to live here for the rest of my life but I think it's somewhere I'll always come back to because it is such a beautiful country and we have so many wonderful things Five is favourite YouTuber that actually stays in South Africa. Now, the way this question's phrased makes me think that it's supposed to be, like, bigger YouTubers, like professional YouTubers. I don't really watch any professional South African YouTubers, except for Troy and Casper. E even though Troy doesn't consider himself South African, I totally claim him as South African. And, obviously, neither, neither of them live here. So, I'm going with Julia Yopkelia. I love her. She's my YouTube bestie. She is amazing and so sweet and so funny and her videos are great and she really deserves more subscribers. So go watch her, number one. And number two, Julia, I don't think you've done this video so I'm tagging you. I will also leave a link to her channel in the description. Number six, the worst thing about South Africa. I'm going to go with an obvious one and say the crime. It's scary to walk around here and I, sh I feel like I shouldn't be scared to walk around in my hometown and just at the moment there's a lot of racial tension and you know it's 20 years after the end of apartheid like we're supposed to be past that and it just keeps coming back seven is your favorite thing about south africa i love all the animals that we have we have such diverse wildlife and like wilderness and flowers and plants plants is what i'm looking for very diverse flora and fauna. Our fashion scene is incredible, like some of the local designers are amazing, like Gavin Raja, Khachan Kutsia, Black Eyed Susan is a boutique that I really like. South Africa is killing it in the fashion game and I just don't think it's being recognised enough. Like our designers are so good and I love some of the clothing that's coming out of South Africa, but yeah, also definitely like the animals and the wildlife and the nature here is just beautiful and amazing. My university is a game reserve. How many people can say that? How many people can say that when they walk to their car at the end of the day they can see zebras and like little dakers and stuff? It's amazing! I mean other people that go to South African universities can say that, some of them, but people in, but people in other countries can't say that. Number eight is the coolest thing about your town. Like I said, I'm from PE, so we have amazing beaches. The older parts of PE are really really beautiful, great for photo shoots. Unfortunately, those are also the dodgy parts of PE, so I don't really want to take my camera there. Number nine, why people should visit South Africa. For all its faults, it is a beautiful country. It's a great place to come for a nice relaxing holiday. You can go on safaris, you can go on game drives. We have incredible spas here, not that I've ever been to any of them. Also, if you're from like Europe or America or anything, South Africa is going to be really cheap for you. So you can do all the really like cool expensive stuff and you won't even feel like it's breaking the bank. There is a lot of history here. 
and I know people from overseas are always really interested in the history of apartheid and there are just monuments and museums about apartheid everywhere in South Africa. The beaches are amazing, we have some of the best beaches in the world. I mean I went to the beach in Thailand which is like Thailand is famed for its beaches and honestly as much as the water there was amazing but the beach itself like South Africa is nicer. There are such cool things to do here, you know, like safaris and spas and seeing wild animals that you can't see in your own country and going to our amazing beaches. And we have really good food. Such good food, like biltong, rye, brevos, milk tart, peppermint crisp tart. If nothing else, just come here for the food. And number 10 is my personal favourite question. <laughs> Why aren't there any lions in the background? Because we're a normal country! Granted, in some parts of PE you will just see like cows roaming around, but at least those are farm animals that have just escaped from the farm. You know, we don't just have wild animals roaming the streets, you have to go to a game reserve to see them, or go into the actual wild to see them. Not recommended, because unlike at a game reserve there is no gate between you and the lion running towards your car. Just putting that out there. We are just a normal developing country that has shopping malls and internet and real gravel roads and all that kind of stuff. So obviously there are parts of South Africa without that, but it's because we're developing. Most of South Africa is just like any other place in the world. So that's all. Like I said, Julia, I tag you um, and any other South African YouTubers watching this who haven't done this video yet because I think it's a really fun tag. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel over there, subscribe to my blog channel over here, and I will put two videos up there. I hope you guys like this and I will see you again very soon. Bye!